The second type of scaling we're going to consider is frequency scaling. And so in frequency scaling, we're shifting the frequency response up and down on the frequency axis. And so the way we've been drawing our plots, that corresponds to shifting the plot to either the left or the right as we're changing the frequency. During this process, we also want to leave our impedances unchanged. So let's consider each of our three passive components. So our impedance for our resistor is R. So of course, if we change the frequency, the impedance is going to stay the same. So our R is just going to remain R. Now for our inductance, we do have some frequency dependence. So we say that we have J omega L, but now we're going to scale this frequency by some factor K sub F. And we're going to need some new impedance L primed such that our impedance is unchanged. So we want this impedance ZL to be the same as it was initially. So we want it to be equal to J omega L still. So what we can do by comparison then is sort of we inspect these two equations and we see that our L primed and KF needs to be equal to L. So we can say then that our L primed is equal to L divided by KF. Similar approach for our capacitor impedance. We know our capacitor impedance is one over J omega C, but now we're scaling this frequency by some factor KF. So omega KF times C primed, but we want to leave these impedances unchanged. So we say that this needs to be equal to one over J omega times C. So again, by inspection, we can say we want this C to be equal to this KF times C primed. So what that means then is that our C primed is equal to C over KF. So for frequency scaling, we can summarize our four sort of values like we did with our magnitude scaling. So our R primed is just R, so we have no change in our resistance value. Our L prime value is L divided by KF. Our C prime value is C divided by KF. And our frequency, our new frequency omega primed, is equal to KF times our original frequency. So by design, we've scaled that frequency. And so again, the primed is our new values after scaling, our unprimed are our values before scaling. So if we consider a series or parallel RC circuit, we know that in general, the resonant frequency is one over square root of LC. So let's look at our new resonant frequency, omega naught prime. So we know that's going to be one over the square root of L prime, C prime. Plugging in the equations for L primed and C primed, we have one over the square root. Our L primed is L divided by KF. Our C primed is C divided by KF. And that is going to be equal to KF divided by the square root of LC. Well, one over LC is our original omega naught. So we can say this is equal to KF times omega naught. So as we set out to do, we've scaled our frequency. So we've scaled our frequency, we've shifted our resonant frequency, depending on the value of that KF, either to the left or to the right. And what we could also show is that our bandwidth is also going to change. So we're going to have a new bandwidth B primed is equal to KF times B. And so let's go ahead and circle this as well. Uh, and we, we can show though, however, that our quality factor Q primed is going to remain the same.